What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's Claire Net Nick, and today we are back with a new video. Now today is going to be sort of not exactly the greatest video to be talking about. Today we're actually going to be talking about the YouTube problem that's just been announced recently, these last few days. I have the website pulled up from for the YouTube Partner Program overview for the new information that got announced. So I'm going to be taking this information directly from this website. So on here it says, on January 16th, 2018, we announced new eligibility requirements for the YouTube Partner Program. Once a channel reaches 4,000 watch hours in the previous 12 months and 1,000 subscribers, it will be reviewed to join the program. Get more details. But right now, I'm on the details right now. So basically, if you don't have 4,000 watch hours and you don't have 1,000 subscribers, you will be removed from the partner program on YouTube. As soon as I heard this information, I was actually really... I was angry for a couple different reasons. For the fact of that I've been on this platform for about six years. And for this channel itself, I've had it for about four years coming up in February. Actually, four years... I've actually just hit my four years mark because I made it January 17th or somewhere around those that time frame. And I've made... I, in total, I've almost hit 50,000 concurrent lifetime views on YouTube. I've been partnered since March, I do believe. Actually, yeah, for the very, very first month, I uploaded every single day, and then I got, I was able to attain a partnership through full screen, which I still hold to this day. And from then on, I, I have been a partner. And you know, there's been a bunch of different changes in these last uh, good number of years, and it hasn't affected me wholeheartedly. I'm, I mean, in subscriber count and views, and being able to attain a lot of different things, it, it has affected me, but in terms of my partnership, it has not affected me until this time. And again, whenever I first did hear about this, I was actually very infuriated because I had spent so much time on this program. However, looking into other opinions and analyzing this, it's n not as bad as I thought it would be. And the reason I say this is because YouTube is not my job. YouTube is a hobby that I am definitely trying to invest more time into to become something bigger than just a hobby. But still, is it's not my job. I don't make a lot of money off of this. A couple months ago, I did get my first real YouTube paycheck, and that, that was really great to get. I'm not gonna lie, it was a really good feeling to actually find out that all my hard work had eventually worked. But then again, it took almost three and a half years to get to that point of my paycheck, and it was. It was less than a hundred dollars. It was not a lot. And their uh, YouTube's analytics detailed that about 99% of creators make about less than a hundred dollars a year. The perks are one of the things that I was actually really disappointed in hearing that I was going to be getting that taken away from me. However, looking more into it, nearly all the ones that I use and probably most other people use will not be taken away. Now, I pulled up one of the frequently asked questions on here. It says. Well, I'll lose access to creator features if I do not meet the new YouTube Partnership Program criteria. Now, this is what's going to be changed. All creators can use the end cards, which is one of the things that I use currently. However, linking to external websites is only for partners. That's understandable. You can link them to current videos, which is the only reason I, I use them, honestly. I'm going to have one at the very end of this video that will link it to a previous video that I've uploaded, etc., etc. If it's on the site still, that's perfectly fine. If it's, de if it's an external link to another website, that's where it's cut. You're still allowed to use the Creator Studio. You're allowed custom URLs. You're allowed custom thumbnails. Those are the ones I, all, I and many other people obviously use. You can still live stream. You can still schedule uploads. And you can still use analytics. Literally only about three things are being taken away from the YouTube Partnership Program. And two of them are the external website card and the other one is making money. That's literally the only two things. Personally, those were the only two things that I was actually somewhat worried to hear about. And after looking through all this, after getting all this information, it's literally not as bad as many people were making it out to be. And it might actually benefit the whole website in general. One, it's gonna be a lot harder to be able to get back into the YouTube Partner Program with this. That's acceptable, that's whatever, to be able to make money. People are gonna to have to get through a, a much bigger threshold. Basically the way I see it is this, if you come onto this website and you want to start making money off the bat within the first year, unless you upload really, really good content and you actually care about making videos and enjoy making videos, this is probably not what you're wanting to do. I've been doing this for about, in total, again, I've been doing this for in total about the last six years because I enjoy making YouTube videos. I'm enjoying uh, connecting with people, with viewers, with subscribers. 
I enjoy talking to people. This is something I have loved over these last six or seven years. I love uh, talking to other YouTube content creators. It's a good feeling to do that, and while the money was also nice to make, even if I made two or three cents on a video, it was just a plus. The money was not what I was going for. I was going for the fun, the creative, the creativity, and all the other perks that came with it. This, however, will push me to do much better, to hopefully get back into the YouTube Partnership Program in the near future. In this next year, there's a bunch of new big criteria that I want to set for myself. And there are a bunch of successful goals that I have in the future as well. Me and my friend Jimmy or Sword Joker, not Sword Joker, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Me or my buddy uh, Jimmy or Joker, which is also his birthday. I'm gonna have his link down in the description. Go subscribe to him. He does a bunch of bomb gameplays, a bunch of bomb videos. Go watch them. Me, him, and a couple other people actually do have our sights set on Soar. And in this next, uh, I'm shooting for about the next two or three years, I'm actually wanting to join the organization of Optic Gaming. Now, that's, oh, I would like to join Soar Red. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. I would like to join Soar Red because both of those organizations have people that are out there that seem really fun to be around. I did the Red Recruitment Challenge recently. If they do have another one in the near future, if I'm not on a bigger team or a bigger organization, then I definitely would like to participate in that again because, both, like I said, both Soar, both, uh, both Sora and Red have people that are just really great influencers, really great people to talk to, to be around. So those are going. that's going to be a goal that I have for this next year. And I'm not going to let the fact of this, this YouTube Partnership Program fiasco going on. The, while this may be taking steps back for a bunch of different content creators, this should not stop people from trying to upload, from trying to do better, try to better themselves as a creator on this platform. I will say, however, recently Twitch has announced that they are making their own video creator platform, and I'm still going to upload here on YouTube, but I'm also going to be experimenting and seeing how the video, video creator platform on Twitch is going to be. It seems like this is an interesting prospect to put time, invest time into, invest some information too so i would like to go look at that for the near future will it work maybe not but it's worth checking into there's been a bunch of supposed youtube killers in these last couple years vidme was one that actually recently closed down rp vidme daily motion i believe was one that wanted to do something but daily motion really hasn't gotten that far so it's whatever Vimeo and a couple other websites i do believe have attempted to get onto youtube's platform or YouTube status, but none of them have even gotten as close to YouTube in these recent years. With Twitch, however, it has been mainly a streaming service for gaming streamers, for IRL streamers, a bunch of different streamers on different aspects. Twitch switching over into a video platform seems interesting, and I would like to see how that will work with YouTube still around, and it's it's definitely going to be an interesting year, to say at least. But overall, to wrap this up, this YouTube Partner Program changes, these are not all that bad. When it, like I said, whenever I first saw them, I was immediately heartbroken. I was very, very sad to hear this, but looking into it more, it's not that bad. We may not be able to make money for an X amount of time for the future, but that should not stop anybody from continuing to create or better themselves on this platform. And if you were coming on to here, starting new, and you just want to become rich and just make a lot of money off this, you're probably not going to get too far. I, I as every, like everyone else, would love to, you know, make, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars uploading videos every single day, but we, <laughs> we, we won't have that opportunity for a very long time. Or at least some of us. There are some people who do excel very well at this platform and will come in in the first year and just knock out thousands upon hundreds of thousands of subscribers, which is great. But for about 90 to 95 percent of the rest of the populace on YouTube, it's <laughs> it's not going to be that easy. But thank you all for watching. If you like this, comment, rate, subscribe, do all that jazz. If you didn't, take a look at my other videos. I might be able to change your mind. Welcome to 2018. We got a bunch of great new opportunities coming along. Y'all have a nice day. Stay positive.